Are you broke? Are you having a baby? Well, so are we. <laughs> Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is back with MMM, Money Moves Monday with Love for More Productions. My name is Joshua Wobbled. And uh, we're here, we're going to talk about some exciting news, what a wonderful week it's been. It's been a crazy week, crazy wonderful. Let's talk about what happened this week. Yes, 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 yes. If you saw in the recent videos and the recent announcements on social media, yes, my wife and I, we are, we are prego. She eats prego. I'm not pregnant. We're having a baby and we don't know what it is. She's uh, pretty early along the way still, about 12, nope, a lot. About nine weeks into pregnancy, and it's been a roller coaster of emotions for everybody involved. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's been, it's been crazy. We've been walking around Target looking for baby clothes and stuff already. And I'm just doing this an idea to get into my head what kind of money and what kind of expenses will the baby be in her life. Yes, of course it'll be expensive, but how expensive? That's the real question. So well, today we're going to talk about what we're doing to prepare for the baby. So. So real quick, we're gonna come right back and talk about our debt situation and see where we are with that. How we are handling things financially and where um, we stand on uh, paying off our bills. Yeah, I got I got some notes from friends and they're saying like, wow, you're really paying off your debts pretty hardcore and for not having a stable income, you're attacking it pretty intensely. And yes, that is true. I don't recommend this for everybody and I could barely even recommend it for myself because emergency happens or when we uh, want to do something or buy some food uh, we have to really sacrifice those things and those things can weigh on you emotionally and it's not a good situation to be in so that's why money can cause a lot of financial stress in your life and this is why I'm trying to figure it out and a lot of it when in our situation is um, I'm married and we share we have a joint account so a lot of it is just communication when we're doing when we're spending money uh, what we plan on buying, anything uh, large expense value, even lot, even smaller expense items, we got to make sure we're like communicating to each other and seeing where that we have enough money in the account to make these purchases. Because uh, we all have different needs and wants, and we all want to spend money in different places. And I think uh, just communication is going to be the biggest key if you are if have a joint account with somebody. If not, you are free to spend your money however you like. I think it still goes into managing your money and to kind of control your spending and not spending it in too many different places. So, our budget has been narrowed down, it's been tight, and we're just working on spending money on the necessities. That's been really good lately, but with uh, the wife having the cravings, it's been a little, a little intense. She will crave chicken sandwiches, uh, <laughs> french fries, a lot of potatoes, a lot of potatoes, a lot of baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, waffle fries, french fries. A lot of potatoes with cheese cheese and potatoes that's that's been her go-to thing and I can I'm pretty good at making them but then she sometimes just wants it from friendlies or from chick-fil-a not to bang on you guys but like chick-fil-a is pretty good but like I can make like 10 pounds of waffle fries for the price of like three large fries that's a good amount of fries check out my video how to make french fries shameless plug anyways so I was doing some research online to check out what type of expenses the baby might have and from what I pulled up the average American family in the first year of the baby being alive will spend anywhere from $10,800 for their baby as for food uh, as for clothing as for diapers uh, and it's anything that can't keep the baby happy and alive but I don't know if that's including things that keeps parents happy as well I know that a lot of expenses that people spend on their baby is more towards what the parents want more than what the baby needs right I'm not speaking as an expert yet because I don't have no kids I've never done this before if you're a parent and you can look back at what you bought for babies and how much money you spent on the things that they actually needed versus what you wanted them to have like did they need them cute shoes they need them Jesus slippers with toes hanging out like I was arguing with my wife about this the other day like why 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 they need them cute shoes man they don't even keep their feet warm like there's not even you know what I mean give them some socks or they can wrap some cotton balls around it with some duct tape you know what I mean do the same thing keep them feet nice and warm that's a, that's something for you to look into like you want to take cute pictures of your baby like a baby it's a baby it's gonna be cute either way but then like you can dress it all up and it's like gonna be adorable or whatever but that's where we're gonna look into is falling for what we need what the baby needs versus what we want our baby to to look so I feel like for us personally I'm more like let's keep it low but just knowing 
in the wife, I feel like I'm gonna be budging towards the high end of the amount uh, because we're gonna. <laughs> I can see you taking a lot of pictures of this baby being all like, it's baby, baby, baby. Other bills that we can expect are medical bills, bills for books, books for us, books for the baby, books to learn like what to do when expect when you're expecting like uh, baby books, drawing books, whatever books babies like to read, pop up books. Um, and the food, like I said, the food's a big thing. The baby's gonna be probably eating a lot of organic stuff. I'll do my best to make those baby meals at home. And then, not only that, the food for us, because chances are we're gonna be more tired and we're not gonna cook as much at home. And we'll end up ordering out or we'll end up buying a lot of frozen meals, which are pretty expensive in themselves. I find a lot of frozen meals, like, they're not as good for you and you can probably buy more by going out to eat. Just my thought, like frozen food doesn't fill me up as much. I don't know what it is. Like I could eat like three of those instant hungry man Salisbury steaks with the mashed potatoes and brownie. You know what I mean? Kids cuisines, not for me. I ain't no kid. Yeah, so the average American will spend anywhere between $10,800 to $12,000 in the baby's first year of being alive. And I can only imagine that that price continues to grow as the baby is continues growing. Um, you know, most of the stuff that the baby has, they can probably grow into it and grow out of it. But I'm just like, I'm thinking like, my brain's cranking, like, ah, what do we do? I don't even know yet. So we're gonna just, oh man, I'm having anxiety attack. Upon my research, I'm looking into it and there are people are saying, oh, before you have a baby, have $20,000 in your account. I'm gonna let you roll right now. I did not have $20,000 in the bank account. And that recommendation, is probably keeping a lot of people from having kids. Like, I noticed that a lot of people are having kids later in life. I don't know what that is. Maybe because we want to get a stable job first and get life figured out first or live our life to fullest potential without being held down by a little child. I don't know, you know? I I don't know. Maybe. I, I'm going to speak about that, but what are your opinions? What do you think? Why are people having kids later in life? Why are people getting married later in life? That's, that's the millennial mind, maybe. Ooh. So other things we can see that money going towards is baby care, daycare. Where's the kid going to stay the end day? Are we going to work jobs from going out and like trying to make money for the baby while the baby stays at home or goes to a daycare? And those can be expensive from what I hear. I'm probably just going to leave the kid at home because that's what happened to me. I had my neighbors babysit me and they were just a little bit older than I was. That turned out great. Something else, you, something else we can be looking into is equipment for like emotional support because there's a lot of things that can counteract the postpartum depression, uh, uh, our needs to keep our bodies in shape or to stay healthy. Like there's extra things that I don't even know where to begin to take account in. And I'm I'm watching, starting to watch these people on YouTube talk about it, and a lot of it's just like what's what does the baby need? And I'm like, what do I need? I don't know. And I want to be able to give that baby as much as we can, but at the same time. I'm not gonna spoil it. So you gonna spoil my baby? You gonna spoil my baby? Whose baby is this? I've recently researched some ways where we can save some money by joining Facebook groups, new parenting Facebook groups, where they will uh, almost like give clothes to each other. Or they'll sell clothes and like carriages and little shoes for people like at a discount price. They will be used, which should be okay. I don't know anymore because about like coronavirus. Like, what if your baby got coronavirus and you give it my baby coronavirus? Then I'm gonna freak out on your baby. You know what I mean? And this is all stuff that we're thinking about, like what what is that gonna look like down the road in December? Because this is gonna be a Christmas baby. We're gonna buy a Christmas gift, or is it the Christmas gift? So I've been thinking a lot recently about whether I want to go back to the restaurant, and it's been it's been a struggle for me to think about because the restaurant takes up so much of my time, and it it forces me to leave my home. And when we had our dog, he was just a puppy. He was just a little eight pound dog, and he. Uh, he got him shipped uh, here. He was on. He came in the aer airport, and I didn't get to go pick him up. And I was at the restaurant working, and I was spending maybe eighty plus hours a week uh, working in the restaurant as the chef de cuisine. And like he was just a little puppy. And then the next thing I know is like I feel like I came home one day, and he's just a twenty six pound dog, just like fully grown. Like, and this is a dog, and I I I feel like I missed out on watching him grow or like teaching him. So I think. The opportunity to miss out on a, a kid growing would be like super detrimental to the child and I feel like myself, you know uh, You can't buy back time and there's nothing more valuable in life than time and just thinking about those commitments. I I don't want to 
miss out on those opportunities of seeing the kid grow. So, especially my kid, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of at this crossroad right now. It's like, do I pursue, you know, making videos and building a brand off, off YouTube? Uh, do I... You know, I'm starting a sauce company uh, right now. I've been I've been trying to push it for a while, and now I'm finally catching some some traction in in the recipes I'm building and the the network. So it's been it's been really exciting to grow with that. So uh, I'm like I'm not a professional in what, anything that I, that I do really. Like the thing I'm best at is is cooking. You know, I'm trying to tell this, these stories on Mondays, Money Moves Mondays, so I can connect to you guys and kind of just basically just talk to somebody about money and our financial needs and our financial goals uh, along this journey because I just want to show my progress and hopefully it'll inspire you inspire you to talk to other people about it and be open about these situations and these conversation that we can um, spread the word and spread the knowledge and that's really what it's about is it is inspiring growth among other people and that's really all I want to do I want to improve myself so that it may inspire other people to and just keep spreading the knowledge to people to encourage growth you know, um, I'm doing what I can, and all I can do is try. If you don't, if you don't try, you'll never, you'll never know. And that's sometimes that's all you have to do to to inspire other people is to try. You watch somebody trying to lose weight, like those are the people that inspire me the most. When I go to the gym and I see, you know, a big person like on the treadmill for an hour for 20 minutes, I'm just like. That's great, you know. Those are the people that inspire me are the people that that are trying to make themselves better. And just remember, you don't have to be the best at what you do. You just have to be better than you were yesterday, right? Seek small steps of improvement, small steps of growth. You don't have to be better than anybody else. Just be better than yourself. Be better than you were yesterday, right? Stay happy. Stay hungry. Feed your soul. Feed your mind. Love for more. Thanks for watching, guys, and appreciate you guys coming to the channel. If you come here every Monday, you'll see I'll be posting videos on our financial journey, Money Moves Monday, as well as every throughout the week, we'll be posting videos about us cooking food and what we eat, as well as on Fridays, Freestyle Friday, where I'll be editing a video of my choice, whether it be dancing, cooking, or whatever else I like to do in life, and I'll be posting that on Fridays. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, stay safe out there. Uh, remember, Keep learning, keep growing, and continue to inspire other people, right? Thank you guys for everything you do. And we're having a baby, so <laughs> super excited. Stay tuned on what we do with that. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. It's crazy. It's crazy. I ain't gonna be sleeping no more.